Today I want to talk to you about the importance of sleep and how we can improve our sleep. So we already know that good quality sleep is essential for normal hormone function, weight control, emotions and stress. So how exactly do we create a good environment to get to sleep in each night? Firstly, it's important to identify whether you're getting enough good sleep and whether it is good quality sleep. So ask yourself, are you continually having brain fog? Are you getting injured more often? Are you feeling a little bit sadder than usual or are your emotions a little bit all over the place? Do tasks at work seem just a little bit out of reach and harder than usual? Are you struggling with your weight and generally demotivated overall? If you answered yes to some of these questions, it is likely that your sleep could do with a little bit of improvement. So the amount of sleep that an individual needs is very dependent on that person, but on average, the usual adult person requires between seven to nine hours of good sleep per night. This can also vary from six hours to 10 hours, depending on the person. Good quality sleep is just as important as the quantity of sleep. So a good quality sleep would be determined by the ability to get to sleep within 30 minutes of going to bed and waking up no more than once per night. My top five tips for getting a good night's sleep would be number one, avoid caffeine at least five hours before you plan on going to bed. Caffeine is a stimulant which is going to keep you awake and keep your brain firing well after you should be getting ready to slow down and go to bed. My second tip is to keep your wake and sleep cycles the same each day, even into the weekend. By going to bed and waking up at the same time each day, you're allowing your body to create an internal hormone clock that lets your body uh, release certain hormones that send you to sleep and picking up hormones that uh, let you wake up in the morning. My third tip is quite obvious, but that is to minimize any disruptions in your bedroom and in your house. So if you can avoid any barking dogs or mobile phones, lights in the room, anything to keep your room as dark and peaceful as possible will help you to get a good quality sleep at night. My fourth tip is to exercise. Regular exercise helps to contribute towards a good night's sleep. Not only does exercise help to regulate your hormones, it also leaves you feeling a little bit tired and ready to get to sleep so your body can go into repair mode to fix the muscle damage that's created via exercise. Lastly, create a good sleep environment. Think about your pillow, your bed, and your surroundings in your room. Is this as comfortable as possible and is it conducive to a good sleep? If your sleep disruption is due to a blockage in air or a breathing problem, it's really important that you talk to your doctor. So your doctor's going to be able to help guide you through this issue, leading to a better sleep and health outcomes.